Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh with another new topic. Today our topic is removing duplicates in data table. But wait, there are few scenarios which you will love to solve them. Let me read this question for you. As a UiPath RPA developer, you are tasked with data cleaning operations using link. Link framework. Link query, write a link query to achieve the following task. Utilize link to remove duplicate row wise. Now you have to remove the duplicates row wise. What exactly is row wise? We are going to learn. Remove duplicates from a product name, which is a column. So how can you target a specific column to remove duplicates? That also we are going to learn. So your product DT looks something like this. So how do you achieve this and write the link query or frame the link query we are going to learn. This will be very interesting. So without wasting any further time, let's move on to UiPath Studio. I am on my UiPath Studio. Let me first show you the product data table. Here I have saved in the sheet number six and you can see it has got columns like product name, category and price. So it has got certain values, but again, these values are mostly have duplicate. This data table has got mostly duplicate data. Now, the very first challenge is how do you remove duplicates row wise? So what do I mean by that? For example, if you look at this call, this row, laptop electronics 800, the, everything, all the column values, if it is repeats once again, that becomes a duplicate, you can see, this is a duplicate row. So I need to remove it. So let's see how to do that. So the very first thing I am reading the sheet number six and storing that in the products DT data table variable. And then I am writing after we frame the link query, we'll be writing that to a output data table, which will write in turn in the sheet eight. Currently, the sheet is 8 is blank. So let's see. Let's start writing the link query. Let me minimize all these things. Okay. Let's write the link query in the assign activity. Here is the output DT. And I'm going to click here and start writing the code. So what is your input data table? That is products DT. In this video, you are going to learn a very simple way to remove duplicates pretty simple way when it comes to removing duplicates row wise what is that there is a method called a default view let us understand what this default view is all about let me copy this code to a notepad and i can explain it here so what this default view does default view creates a read only data view of the data table. That means it creates a similar pattern how whatever the columns and data are present inside the data table. Default view, it just recreates it. It creates a replica of it. So the replica of data type, it returns a data type called data view. What it returns? It returns something called data view, not exactly data table. It is a replica of a data table known as data view. Let me show you. If you highlight your mouse pointer or simply use a parenthesis, you get this property, right? Read only property data view. So what this default view does? It creates a replica or a clone, which is a read only. It is a read only property data view. Okay. After that, what we will do, this read only data view got created, right? I'm going to apply another method called two table. Now what this two table will do, if you read this particular function, it will convert the moment you write two table, it will convert that data view to data table. Now you, you, you might be having question. Okay, Rakesh, why we are doing this? Because this is the simplest way without touching the original data table, you are removing, removing the duplicates. I'll show you how. Once you continue, you will understand. 
After this, so you understood what this default view does. It creates a clone, which comes as a data view. It returns a data type called data view. It's a clone of the data table in the read only. Now, the moment you write to table, right? When you write this function to table, what happens? The data table, the data view now converts to data table, converts to a data table. And how do you get the proof of that? The moment you keep your mouse pointer here, you can see if you simply remove this and type again, you will see it converts the data view as data table. Okay, so originally we started with a data table, then it got converted to data view, then it is getting converted to data table. Now, what is the use of learning this? The moment I write something inside this bracket, what would happen? Let me show you the magic. So the third point is, after writing to table, if I am going to write true, what this will give? It creates a data table with similar structure of the original table, original table geo products DT with distinct values. So the moment you write true, it creates a distinct value. First, let me show you without writing true, let's see what it does. As I told you, this is the table. It creates a read only data view and then it converts that data view to two table. Let's simply print this and see how the output looks like. It will be the exact replica of your original data table. So let me save it. And in the sheet eight is nothing is there right now. And let us simply run this. Let's, you know, anytime you're learning a code, learn the code by dividing that, right? Make it to small, small parts and learn the code. That way it makes much easier to understand and grab the concept. Now the code has completely ran. Let me go back and look at the sheet eight. What happened? The sheet eight got the entire table here because you say two table, it converted to data table and you're writing it to sheet eight. So what happened if you see the number of columns here are total are 21 in the sheet six also, I had 21. It didn't remove any duplicates. It is exactly the same copy. It copied here and pasted here. Okay, now the great thing about this code is it is pretty simple code and the moment you write true, what happens? The true, the moment you write true, this signifies that your new data table, which you have created by this default view dot two table, it's only going to contain distinct values. When you write true, it becomes, it creates distinct values. So the moment I write true and let us remove all this data from the sheet eight clear it, save this. Let's go back to Yapa Studio and here what we have done, we have made it to true. Now, as I said in the notepad, the moment you make it true, it creates a data table with a similar structure of the original table with distinct values. That means no duplicates, no duplicate rows. Remember, it applies on the rows. Now let's hit on save and let us run this. So the execution is complete. Now if I come here, sheet six has contained 21 data. Now finally, when you have removed duplicate, how many total rows we have got? Hardly five rows, which are distinct. Now let me show you some something very important. Here laptop electronics 800. Let me go to the sheet six. Okay. What I will do, let me copy this line. So laptop 800 on the top, we have ones. Here we have ones. Uh, right here we have like two, three times it has got. Let me add here we have one more time. Let me copy this and add it here. What I will do, I'll make the value to 900. Now tell me when you apply the same code, is it going to remove this or is it going to contain it? So the answer should be it, it will contain it because if you see this row and this row and all the above rows are duplicates because all the values of the columns are same. The row is exactly the replica of the previous rows for the laptop category, right? So this one will be removed. Only one value will be kept. However, if you look at this last value, 
the value the cost of this is different it is 900 so this is a different value it is not exactly the replica of that so it will check row wise so row wise if you see this value is different so it is going to keep it it's not going to remove it getting it so remove duplicate works in the row wise only when it finds all the values are exactly matching it's going to remove it otherwise it's going to keep it so let's save it and run the same code okay now if i go back what happened this there is a category called 800 there is also a new category came as 900 because this is a distinct value when you compare row to this row yes they are two different rows because this value is different getting it okay now let's change the topic the topic is i don't want to remove duplicates row wise i wanted to target a specific column let's say product name and, and in this product name, I would like to have only distinct values. Let's say laptop should not come twice. Let's say in this case, 800 and 900 are two values. I want to only keep the first value. Whatever the first value comes, I want to keep that. Rest, I want to remove. So I want to target only this product name column. And in this column, no value should be duplicate. So I'm targeting column wise. So how do you achieve column wise? We are going to learn next. What is the fourth learning? remove duplicates column wise okay let's see that now for this let us first clear this sheet 8 save and let me go to this one and let's change the code now when you're targeting column wise the code will be slightly different first you take the name of your original data table as innumerable and then we are going to use something called group okay group by first we'll group by all the items in the product name so laptop laptop how many are there it will get grouped okay so how do you group by simply write function lambda function i'm going to have the parameter x x and then write the column name on which you would like to apply the on which you would like to remove the duplicates right so product name is the column and then let's make it to dot to string okay so here i've made the spelling mistake product name dot to string so now what you have done you have grouped it after that you will write another method to you know to select for example when you are grouping them so first grouping will be laptop now laptop how many columns you have one two three four five total five so now what would happen when you group a key gets created and then this data rows will be there key and data rows in that i would only select the very first item i don't want all the items i want to only keep the very first item if there are multiple items laptop laptop in the product name keep the very first item for that what you will do you will use the dot first method right so for that let's do let's write the select function when your code becomes long i have told you simply hit enter before the dot and here give a space and write underscore so that you can write the code below now select i'll create one more lambda function say y and then i'm going to say y dot first so if there are multiple such values you select the first value i'm saying Okay, I'm applying removing duplicates column wise. Y dot first, and this is done. And all you have to do is simply say copy to data table. Your code is done. Okay, let me copy this code. Okay, so you have understood what we have done. First, we have done the grouping as per the product name column, where I am expecting laptop, 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 or any other item coming multiple times. If it comes multiple times, all I am saying, okay select the very first first row select the very first item so i'm saying y dot first and then copy to data table pretty simple code let us save this and uh, hopefully the sheet it is cleared yeah let's run it okay the execution is complete now if you see what happened 
last time when I was doing row wise, the laptop 900, there were two, two values. Now, if you see the product name, none of the names are duplicate. It's only having distinct values. So it has removed all the duplicates. It doesn't matter how many times they were. It has removed everything and the column name is maintained very unique names. Last time when we have applied remove duplicates row wise, you had two different values because laptop and 900 value was there. Now when you apply it column wise, everything is removed, only laptop kept one. It will only just focus on the column that you have given in your link query. Clear? So this is a great learning. You have understood two important points. One is removing duplicates row wise. You have applied uh, this specific code, right? True. And removing duplicates column wise, you have applied this specific code. I'm going to pass this in the description of the video. You can take advantage of this course and try it on your own. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care and continue to like my contents that you're watching on my channel. Thank you for your contribution, guys.